In the spring of 1967, a man by the name of Dick Prenicky left behind a routine life and headed for a remote wilderness in the Alaskan backcountry, an area yet unspoiled by man's advance. This film is Dick's account of living alone in a place where no roads lead in or out, and the nearest settlement is 40 air miles away. Dick spends much of his time traveling the lake in his canoe, hiking the rugged country and filming the abundant wildlife with his 16 millimeter bolex. The only means of transportation are his canoe and a strong pair of legs. The mountains can be man's best friend, exercise. To climb comfortably, I think the secret is, to climb at a pace you can climb without a stop to rest. Dick's cozy little cabin is well equipped and provides him with warmth and safety, even through the harshest of Alaskan winters. Food supplies and mail are flown in occasionally by float plane from Port Allsworth. And a hot stew like this suits Dick just fine. And once in a while, a guest drops in for dinner. Twin Lakes isn't deep snow country. 16 inches in one snowfall is about as much as Dick has ever seen. Dick shovels his pathways after each snowfall to make room for the next snow. And after about a foot of snow, Dick depends on his snowshoes every time he leaves his cabin. Dick travels hundreds of miles on snowshoes every winter. Today was the day I would check the ice for thickness. It had shown no change since I came. I had no ice 